It's a little bit of this thing, y'all ready? Down through the years, God's been good. Another year, another chance. Thank you, Lord. How many of you have been through something since last Ames? Come the neighbor. I made it out. I made it out all right. I made it out all right. Hey, 
every time I turn around. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, listen. I'm going to give you three minutes. Go ahead, come on. You who made it out all right. That's enough. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Sit down. Sit down. I, I'm here to welcome you. And, but the Holy Ghost already. Ha, es que vos, a escanaya. Ya saben la voz, sí. The Holy Ghost says you're welcome. Hallelujah. You may be seated. I'm going to live so. God can use me. Oh, God. 
but it's too late. I'm on my way up. I'm going to hold my head up. And I'm going on with the Lord. My God. That's it, son. Stop it. Let me, let me, let me preach. Stop it. Stop it. Because the ushers, they don't obey like they should. I told the ushers, be careful who you allow to come in the building. When you let too many people with the Holy Ghost come in the building, they take over. What are we teaching the people? I'm sick and tired of church as normal. The church has become like a movie theater. Might as well pass the popcorn and Pepsi and watch the show. You, you come in and leave the same way you came. Hmm? But if you bring back holiness, bring back sanctification, thank you, Jesus. Bring it back, huh? not legalism, but bring back holiness. And the first thing we need to do is define holiness and define sanctification. Thank you, Jesus. And once we define holiness, holiness is not a dress down to your ankle. Holiness is not a clergy collar around your neck. Holiness is God himself. Holiness is the very attribute of God. An attribute is what makes a thing unique. It makes a thing special. And God said we need to be holy. Come on and cry, holy, holy, holy in the morning, holy in the noonday, holy at midnight. Sanctification is not holiness. Sanctification means you separate yourself to become holy. And I heard him say, sanctify yourself separate yourself yeah and the very God of peace will sanctify you holy all you got to do things is remember your Sunday school lesson I don't care what you're going through with God told me to tell you turn your face to the wall make you altar get on your knees yeah thank you Jesus Get on your knees, cry out to God. Tell God, read my resume. 
I've walked up right. My heart has been whole. My heart has been loyal. I live right. And your words say that righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. What that mean, preacher? Righteousness makes you a nation. Ask Abraham. But sin bring you back down to an individual by yourself. Say yeah. Oh, thank you, God. Come on, say, Lord, I will not die. You are not a killer. You are not a killer. You are the one who said in your word, the thief cometh to kill, steal, and destroy. That's not you, God. And I'm asking you to turn this thing around. Come on, say, make a shift. Turn it. Turn it around. Hallelujah. Turn it around. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that Jesus has come to have life, to give you life, and that life more abundantly. Before the prophet could get out the gate, God tapped him on the shoulder. Go back. Uh, go back. I changed my mind. Go back. I thought about Bishop F.D. Washington. Hallelujah. His wife died. He was so hurt. You remember what he said? I never marry again. The love of my life is gone. After a while. Say after a while. Mm-hmm. Another woman came on the scene. He married again. Folks start talking about him. Bishop Washington said, I didn't lie. I just changed my mind. God cannot lie. I said, God cannot lie. Oh, God cannot lie. He just changed his mind. Go back and tell him I'm going to give him 15 more years. Hallelujah. 15 more years. That means he died in, in, in 686 BC. I'm going to destroy Sennacherib. I'm going to deliver this city. I'm going to heal your body. All you got to do is throw your life before him. Well, Bishop, my life is raggedy. My life is no good. All you got to do is stop right there. I ask God to forgive you. He will. I said he will. Can I get a witness here? All of us are sinners saved by grace. Finally, as I go to my seat, thank you, God, as I go to my seat, we don't praise him enough. We don't thank God enough. So I'm going to give you 10 reasons. Write it down. Get a pen. Get a paper. Get your cell phone. Put these 10 reasons. Hallelujah. Hurry up, children. I got to get out of here. I'm going to give you 10 reasons to praise God. Number one. Are you ready? Number one. He woke me up this morning. Come on, give him praise. You got it? Number two. He woke me up this morning. Write it down. Number three. He woke me up this morning. Morning. Woo. Number four. You gotta get it now. Come on, say neighbor. Woke me up this morning. Number five. Y'all ain't ready. Number five. Write it down now. Don't, don't, don't forget this. Number five. He woke me up this morning. Number six. Number six. He woke me up Yeah! Wow! 
Wait a minute. Number seven. Number seven. You gotta write it down now. Don't forget this. Come with that neighbor. For real, for real, for real. He woke me up this morning. Number eight. He did do it. He woke me up this morning. Number nine. He woke me up this morning. Will you please get number 10? I got to go to my seat, y'all. Number 10. Number 10. Oh, he woke this morning. Yeah. 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 I don't know about you. But I got something to praise him for. Yeah! Yeah! Just lean on somebody. And say he woke me up this morning. I need somebody smart, help me out here. Death, a death sentence was placed upon him. Well, a death sentence was placed upon him. He said, your wife been battling cancer. I scared about sight, 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 sight. Huh? Somebody help me who's smart, spell resume. Okay, spell resume. <laughs> Lord, I got to go. Same spelling. <laughs> Different pronunciation. God say when your resume write, you can resume, you can go on, you can live on. Tell your wife, tell your wife. was right. God does not lie, but he does change his mind. Somebody that waiting on God to change his mind. Come on and say, turn it around, Lord. Turn it around, Lord. Turn it around, Lord. Turn it around. Turn it around. Come on and give God the praise.
see, everybody can't get with you. That's why the Bible says two or three. If you've got two or three people right next to you and they look like they believe God can turn it around, if they look like God got a resume that says resume, if they look like they can receive a miracle, you touch and agree with them and say, turn it around. sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Our God is an awesome God.